Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to format currency using JavaScript. So this just means, for example, adding a dollar sign and adding formatting to your numbers or your prices, or it can be a euro or it could be a rupee. Whatever the currency is, I'm going to be showing you how to format it using JavaScript. Now, there's going to be no external libraries that are required to do this. Um, it is all done in the browser using something called intl dot number format okay so right here in my javascript file i've got a constant called price equal to 1485.99 now this here has no currency associated with it we don't know if it's dollars or euros or whatever it might be so i've got a plain number how do we format this in the currency that we want well like I said, you can use something called intl.number format. So let's hop down here and we're going to say uh, const formatted is equal to then say uh, intl, okay, so that's capital I, lowercase ntl, dot number format uh, with Pascal case, so capital N, capital F, and then you pass into this function here, uh, firstly, your locale. Now I'm going to come back to this first argument. You can keep it as undefined just for now. So pass undefined into there. But then more importantly, the second argument is an object here. Now this object, you specify um, how you want to format your number because this number format doesn't say currency format, it's number format. So it's generic across just formatting numbers. So we need to tell it format a currency. So here we're going to say style, okay, equal to currency just like this. Then a second property called currency equal to, and here is where you put a currency code, okay. I'm going to say USD for, of course, US dollar. I'm now going to say at the end of this dot format, okay. So I'm going to call that right there. Then say console.log formatted. I'll save this, go back in the browser, and we get this right here, NAN. What did I do wrong? Well, I forgot to pass in the price when I called format. So I guess this first step is sort of like uh, preparing your formatter object. And then once you have that formatter, you can then call dot format and pass the price into it. Save this back in the browser and we get 1,485.99 dollars. Okay, we get the dollar sign right there. Now, I just want to demonstrate a few more different currencies. I'm going to also uh, change uh, this to be uh, EUR. By the way, for a list of currency codes, you can simply Google, um, you know, Google to find a list of what you need. Typically, that would come from the back end anyway. But besides that, um, I can try Euro, E-U-R, save this back in the browser, and now we get it in Euros, okay? And for one last one, we are going to do INR for Rupee. Save this back in the browser, and we get that right there. So we can see it's working perfectly fine, but there is some merit in talking about the first argument, which is the locale, because depending on which country you want to sort of target here with the locale, it's going to change the way it's formatted. Let's have a look at euros again. So I'm going to say EUR. I'm going to then provide a, uh, a locale of Ireland. I'm going to say EN-IE. Okay, save this back in the browser. Now we get, of course, a similar result as we did prior. We have the comma and the dot Okay, to separate the dollars or not the dollars, but the euros and the other half of it, right? So we have this formatter, okay? Now that's with Ireland, okay? Let's change it to be Germany, okay? We're going to say DE dash DE, I believe it is. Save this back in the browser here. And we can see we get a different format, okay? This time the euros at the end. So there is some consideration to be made in regards to the locale that you pass in. Um, but yeah, look, if you don't pass a locale in, then you're going to default to, I believe, whatever the machine running, uh, the code is on. So for example, just the client's browser, right? Comes from the browser. So that's that, right? But you may want to actually wrap this inside a function to make it easier to use. So let's hop down here. We're going to make a new function called format currency. This here is going to take in three arguments. It's going to take in a value, so the price, a country code, 
okay? And a locale. Now we can simply return and copy the code from earlier, okay? Just like this, so just to sort of clarify here, we're calling the number format function, then we're saying dot format and passing the price in. We need to now swap out some of these values so we can change this to be the locale, so it comes from the parameter instead of just the regular value. We can pass the country code in for the, uh, oops, my mistake guys, that was actually meant to be the currency code. Okay, let's try again. So currency code, copy this and paste it in the currency section. Then of course the value being the actual price, we can uh, provide for the format here. So we have format, value, currency code, currency, etc., and then of course the locale. The reason why the locale is the last argument is because you may wish to omit that if you don't want that extra sort of uh, security in providing the correct format. Um, but yeah, so now we can simply just say format currency. I can provide the value as the price. I can say AUD for Australian dollar. And let's leave it at that. Save this back in the browser and we get this right here. Fantastic. So uh, there's actually a little bit more to talk about in regards to number format. And I encourage you to check out uh, the MDN documentation for it because there is more to it than just currency, okay? If we scroll down, we can see that um, you, you can also do things like format, like speed. If I hop down here, we have, uh, I believe, kilometers per hour or something like that. Just down here, you can see you can pass in style units and you can say units kilometer per hour as well. You can even do liters. So yeah, there is more to it than just currency. I encourage you guys to uh, read the docs uh, on this sort of thing. So I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. But that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.